All right, so once again, I'm Education Specialist Lauren Wallace here at the Charlotte Museum of History. I'm actually standing here with one of our longtime volunteers, Tom Flieger. We are standing in front of the American Freedom Bell. This is actually the largest bell of its type at ground level. It's seven feet wide, it's seven feet tall, it weighs seven and a half tons, solid bronze. And one of the biggest questions that we are asked here at the museum is why is there a bug on this bell? So Tom, tell us a little bit about this bug. The bug resulted as uh, something that Cornwallis said as he left Charlotte after 16 days here. He came in on September the 26th of 1780 and occupied Charlotte. We were an occupied town, but we did not uh, make him very welcome here. Uh, he killed 100 head of cattle a day and consumed 2,000 pounds of grain and literally just about wiped this place out. So we did not receive him with open arms. And he left here calling this a hornet's nest of rebellion. And I guess the name is stuck because uh, if you look on a Charlotte Police Cruiser, you will see a big old hornet's nest. And guess where we got the name of our basketball team? The Charlotte Hornets. <laughs> All came from Cornwallis. So tell us a little bit about what that battle looked like. What happened here? Okay, the battle basically, to give you a little bit of background, we had been left alone for over five years. The war was actually, the Revolutionary War was actually in the north. The British decided to come south, they left New York, came in, seized Charleston on May the 12th of 1780. After that point, the plan was, their strategy, was to then come up through the Carolinas, subduing North, South Carolina and North Carolina, linking up with the forces in Virginia who were now under the command of Benedict Arnold. They proceeded almost unheeded until they came into the Charlotte area. So what happened when they got to Charlotte? Well, when they got to Charlotte, they stopped for a couple of weeks in the Waxhaw area. We're not sure exactly why, but they still stopped. After two weeks, they proceeded to come up South Boulevard, which is the old Camden Road, and proceeded into Charlotte and arrived on Charlotte on September the 26th of 1780. Now, a battle took place in downtown Charlotte, which is basically lost to the history books, but is very significant in the overall picture of the Revolutionary War. All right, so what happened with this battle? All right, Cornwallis had come up South Boulevard, and the Mecklenburg militia under William R. Davey put a contingency of soldiers underneath the courthouse and another contingency of soldiers down on South Boulevard. The British cavalry charged down South Trine Street, and Colonel Davy let them get right into the middle of all three sections, cut at them from three directions, and literally stopped them dead in their tracks. This occurred for about 30 to 45 minutes, holding up the entire British Army. Cornwallis then massed troops on Church Street, South Tryon, and College Street, proceeded north. Realizing 150 Mecklenburg militia could not hold off uh, over 1,000 British troops, they retreated back up North Tryon Street and retreated up to somewhere in the neighborhood or the vicinity of UNC Charlotte. So after that, the British managed to hold the city of Charlotte for 16 days? The British held the Charlotte for 16 days. Uh, as I said earlier, uh, armies in those days lived off the land. They consumed 100 head of cattle a day and consumed approximately 2,000 pounds of grain and flour to feed their army. And their, uh, feed their army. So things be deteriorated with the folks around here, we just, they literally were wiped out by the British, and so we were very unfriendly to them, and we fought back trying to protect our own assets. So every so time the, we see the, the hornet in Charlotte, we should be hornets in the cause of freedom, correct? We were definitely a, a hornet in the cause of freedom, because uh, without holding the British up and keeping them here for 16 days, the British strategy would have continued right on up in through Virginia, but a very significant historical event occurred here in downtown Charlotte and in this area which we should be very very proud of and if you go downtown Charlotte on South Tryon Street you'll see a, a roadside marker it's, uh, signifying the Battle of Charlotte on September the 26th. It's on South Tryon Street about 30 yards south of the Trade and Tryon intersection but it's there and very few people rec recognize it but nevertheless it's there and it's a historic part of our, our area. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for talking with us this morning, Tom. We appreciate it. And next time you go up South Boulevard or next time you're in Uptown Charlotte, remember that in 1780, this was the site of a battle of the American Revolution.